All right, today we're going to look at factoring quadratics using our Desmos star graphing calculator. So we have three released star EOC algebra one questions here that we're going to go through and talk about how you can use your Desmos graphing calculator to make sure the answer that you choose is the correct answer. So here we go. The first question says which expression is a factored form of 2x squared minus 25x plus 63. So in our problem, they're giving us a quadratic expression that is in standard form. And they want you to pick out which answer choice in factored form is the correct answer choice. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to graph this quadratic 2x squared minus 25x plus 63. All right, so when I do that, I'm seeing this graph that's green. and Whichever answer choice in factored form that I choose also has to give me this exact same graph. So let's start with answer choice A. If I factored and I have an answer of x plus 9, that's one factor. And then 2x plus 7, that's the other factor. My graph should be exactly the same. And when I look at that, they are not. This graph is over here on the left of the y axis, this green graph is on the right. So A is not the answer that we want. Let's move on to B. So I'm going to type in answer choice B and see if that is my factored form. Okay, well, looks like that gives me the exact same graph. Okay, there's the green, there's the black. Green, black, they look exactly the same, right? I could even, if I'm not sure, I could even zoom in. Okay, so it looks like B is going to be my correct answer. So what I want to show you, though, is, for example, when I typed in x minus 9, if it is a factor, it's going, to sh it's going to show me a solution. So it's going to go through this x-intercept, because if I have a factor of x minus 9, a positive 9 is going to be my solution, because my factors and solutions are often opposite because x minus 9 equals 0, we solve it, x is going to be 9. And then when I notice my other factor, let's type in 2x minus 7, it goes through my other x-intercept. So those two factors going through my x-intercepts show that the factors and solutions are related to the original quadratic expression. So again, let's try this next one. Question two, I'm going to get rid of these right there on Desmos. Which function is equivalent to g of x equals x squared plus 15x minus 54? So now we have this g of x right here. It looks a little scary. It's just another thing for y. You can kind of ignore that if you want to. But again, they're asking which answer choice in factored form is going to be the same as this quadratic. So all we need to do go to our Desmos graphing calculator, type in the quadratic from our problem, x squared plus 15x. It's going to give us a parabola or a u-shaped graph. If you can't see the whole thing, just zoom out. There we go. Now, one of my answer choices, if it's been factored okay, correctly, it's going to be equivalent, meaning the same or equal. So we want another graph that's equal to this red graph. So I'm just going to start typing in my answer choices x plus 9, okay, and I already know that this one is not correct because what we talked about in problem 1, I'm seeing this blue line does not go through my x-intercepts, but we're going to continue on so you can see how the blue graph is not the same as our red graph, okay. So again, answer choice B is next. We're going to just go ahead and cross out A. Let's go to answer choice B. If you notice, I'm not typing in the g of x equals, okay? So I'm just going to type in x plus 18. And if I did that again, I could look, okay, right here, x plus 18, that factor does go through the x-intercept. So this is looking promising. And then I'm going to type in x minus 3. And then there you go. Look at that. So I see the red and the green. They're exactly the same. And you notice that x plus 18 was a factor that went through an x-intercept, and our solution was negative 18. And then when we had x minus 3, 
it went through the other x-intercept, giving us a solution of positive 3. So b is our answer. All right, the next one. And the reason why I was talking you through number one and number two about the factors is because sometimes they ask you which is a factor. And so you would have to take 21x squared minus, or I'm sorry, 21x squared plus 13x minus 20, and you would need to factor that. And there's a lot of ways you could factor. Factor by grouping, factoring using the box method. But once you're done and you want to check, it's the same process. So I'm going to type in the quadratic expression, 21x squared plus 13x minus 20. And whatever factor that I got when I worked out my problem, if it's correct, it's going to be going through one of these x-intercepts. Okay, So if you factored this problem and you got 3x minus 4, when I type it in, 3x minus 4 needs to go through one of our x-intercepts. It does not. Okay, That's not going to give me the correct solution. It's not a factor. So I'm going to try again with 7x minus 5. That one goes through the x-intercept right there. Okay, That's looking like a good answer choice to pick. I'm still going to do the last two. Let's do 7x plus 4. You notice 7x plus 4 does not go through our x-intercepts, therefore it cannot be a factor. It's not going to give us a solution to this quadratic. And then the last one, 3x plus 5. It comes close, but it does not go through that x-intercept, so it cannot be a factor because it's not going to give us a solution. So again, anytime that you see a quadratic expression and it's asking for a factored form, you can solve it by hand check with your Desmos graphing calculator by graphing both and making sure they're the same graph. If it's asking for a factor, you can graph the quadratic expression and then make sure that the factor that you got as your answer also goes through the x-intercept.